Elections started as expected on the 7th of December 2020 in the Tichiman South constituency. Voters thronged the polling stations to exercise their franchise. Later, did they know a series of events yet to happen will cause an impasse in the declaration of results in the constituency. At about 10 p.m., collation of results began at the Techiman South Collation Center. A large crowd, which was mostly made up of NDC supporters, had gathered at the forecourt of the Collation Center. By midnight, the security agencies fired several warning shots at the forecourt of the Techiman South Collation Center to manage an escalating situation. NDC supporters had allegedly attacked EC officers and destroyed ballot boxes at the forecourt of the Collation Center. The NDC alleged that the ballot boxes were foreign and planted by the New Patriotic Party. The NDC further claimed the NPP had plans of ballot rigging. They also accused the Tichiman South EC of electoral fraud. It is very unfortunate what we are seeing and what we are experiencing here today. today. It is very unfortunate that the incompetency of Mrs. Jemensa and the Electoral Commission is exhibiting the electoral fraud that we've spoken about is exhibiting. What since yesterday, the results we have, the NDC parliamentary candidate have a little over 50.82 percent. The MPP had just 49 percent for the total registered voters and for that matter those who voted in Techman South. So inadvertently, we're supposed to have declared NDC as the winner of Techman South constituency election. Surprisingly, since yesterday, the Electoral Commission refused to start the coalition. And this morning, they metamorphosed surreptitiously, added some figure, and to balloon the, the figure, which we in the NDC are not going to accept. It is very clear that results from the Sunyani Road all we have won, convincingly. The Fiasu Road we have won. Both left and center we have won. Unfortunately, today, the EC is telling us that he cannot find some pink sheets. And the APP have gone to manipulate and then to bring some pink sheets. Which the EC is now trying to take their pink sheets as the original one. We will not accept any results if the EC does not bring the original pink sheets. And apart from that, we will not, we will not, we will not accept any unfair result. The Techiman South NPP. However, stated that the NDC's claims were baseless. The NPP also stated that they had won the election. The GD said, I'm running an electoral commission for Edmar. The NDC said, Yeah, it's a political parties are not competing candidates, no. You will be being from the para vote tabulation. NPP, you are trash like a kind of vote, boom. Now, you're who? You're winning the winning election, no. A brawl ensued in the coalition center. After the Electoral Commission declared the NPP parliamentary candidate, Martin E.J. Mensa Corsa, as the winner, with 49,682 votes, and NDC's candidate, Christopher Bejure, with 49,205 votes. The NDC alleged that the EC hadn't gone through the proper process of collation to arrive at these figures. Some few minutes later, security officers began firing warning shots, supposedly to scare away an agitated crowd of NDC supporters who had gathered outside the coalition center. Eight NDC supporters were reportedly shot with one declared dead upon reaching the Holy Family Hospital in Techiman. One other NDC supporter died while receiving treatment at the hospital. We want to establish a state without any fear that Honorable Martin Ajimensa Corsa has not won the Techiman South election. The MPP candidate for Techiman has not won the elections. The Techiman South NPP still maintain they won the parliamentary elections. The results that have been collated without the particular polling station at Hensa still put Honorable Martin Ajimensa Corsa the parliamentary candidate or the MP elect ahead of, the, of his opponent with about 700 votes difference. It will have made any difference as far as the MPP winning the seat. And indeed, 
we have one Dejiman South seat. The entire country watched on as footage of the shooting and agitation that ensued circulated on social media. Military and army presence increased in Tichiman South. Stores closed and few people were seen on the streets as they feared for their lives. I don't feel safe because of what happened. Um, when I'm going out, I have to check whether things are okay in town before I have to take a car and go. Because sometimes you have to, you will be noticing some a group of people around and they are talking about um, taking revenge on what happened and other things. So you have to also uh, check yourself before you go out. So actually, I don't feel safe. The National Democratic Congress were aggrieved. Party supporters took to the streets on Friday as General Secretary for the NDC, Johnson Isidro Nketiah, visited a constituency on a fact-finding mission. How do you how do you compose the summary sheet? How do you compose it? Yeah. You will summarize the results from the commission. Pink sheets. Yeah, pink sheets. Okay. So the pink sheets were available. The pink sheets were available. Everything so it was, was just the sheet that was lost. Yes. And, and you couldn't compare, everything. you couldn't uh, redo everything. And so how no, does a regional, Listen, how no. does a regional summary sheet come in at that stage? No, we After we have done the summary sheet, then we have to write the summary of it. This yes. Candidate, what they just That was the sister I was talking about. That yes. Uh -huh. the uh -huh. And the and the primary documents were there. Those were the, the pink sheets. Were there. That's uh -huh. what we used so to why wouldn't you do another summary? We came today to try and find out what the real situation is. Meanwhile, we had delegated our lawyer who is standing by me here two days earlier to also gather some more information. His inquiries had taken him to the regional uh, director of relations and who our lawyer had uh, claimed that as far as he was concerned, he wasn't aware of any declaration in Tajiman South. And so we came to this office to try and find out from the returning officer who is the legally designated person in charge of the elections and in charge of resource declaration and to try and find out uh, what the situation is. Um, from the information we gathered from him, um, it does appear to us that there has been no collision. And if there was no collision, there couldn't have been a declaration. When he insisted that uh, he had declared the results in the absence of uh, some representatives, we tried to find out who and who was present at the collation and declaration. He couldn't answer. We tried to ask him to show us a copy of the declaration sheet because results are collated and the declaration amounts to reading the contents of the declaration sheet which has been completed. It doesn't appear to have a declaration sheet. We are entitled by law as a political party which participated in the election to a copy of the declaration sheet. He claims that he cannot give us any such declaration sheet and that he has submitted all his declaration sheets to the regional director of elections. We find it very interesting but revealing. So our conclusion is that still 39 staff results have not been collated and therefore do not have been Declare. So if anybody made any uh, press publication about the results having been declared here, it is not true. Residents are slowly getting back to their normal routines. They are calling for peace and a conclusion to the parliamentary election impasse.
So all that we, the citizens of Techiman, are saying that we need our peace. And we can't trade our peace for any other thing because we have only Techiman and one Ghana. And we can't move outside Ghana. For me, me, for instance, I can't speak French. And our neighboring countries are all Francophone countries. So if there should be anything that requires movement of people from Ghana to other places, I think we are going to suffer. So we are pleading with all. And we are calling on everybody to stand for the peace of Techiman and its environment. The Bono East NDC Vice Chairman, Akwesi Lampo, has served the Techiman South EC with a writ demanding for a recollation of results. The leadership of the NDC indicated in their recent visits to the Techiman South constituency that they are currently gathering further information to take their next step. Reporting for City News, I am Michael Chachua Holly.